South Asia, where the United States appointed an envoy to defend the rights of Afghan women, signaling a key priority as the Taliban ratcheted up its restrictions. Also, the State Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, announced that Rina Amiri, an Afghan-born U.S. scholar and mediation expert who served at the United States Department under the former President Barack Obama, will take the role of Special Envoy for Afghan Women, Girls, and Human Rights. Blinken said that Amiri will address the issues of critical importance to me and the rest of President Joe Biden's administration. In a statement, Blinken also said that Washington, D.C. desires a peaceful, stable, and secure Afghanistan where all the Afghans can live and thrive in political, economic, and social inclusivity. Now, despite the Taliban pledges to act differently after their August takeover, many women remain barred from returning to work and girls are largely cut off from the secondary schooling. Now, on Sunday, the Taliban said that women would not be allowed to travel long distances without a male escort and that vehicle owners should not give rides to women unless they wear headscarves. Moving on, International Charity Save the Children has confirmed two of its staff members in Myanmar were killed in an attack 